So in Where Is My Boy, that's my boy. On today's episode of Where's My Boy, that's my boy. <laughs> Do you remember when I was uh, Sebastian? There we go. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Pick your deer. I'm the dusty. Okay, I'm my deer. Oh God. Let's do okay, this shit. Yeah, yeah. Expert speakers, exactly. I'm not an expert speaker. I'm a professional speaker. Actually, no, I'm not because I'm not being paid yet. Help me reach a thousand subscribers and chaos too. This could be good. All right, let's get this. Let's get this done. I wish I didn't have the one that I had. Oh, why am I at first? All right, Chaos. What exactly are you going to be doing? Excellent question. As the speaker, you will be presented with a series of slides chosen by the assistant. When you see a text slide, read that text out loud as part of your talk and move on quickly. When you see a picture slide, just <laughs> This should be good. Should always be busy using your controller to set up the next beat of the speech. You'll see the text and picture options that could follow it. If you don't think the setup text fits the direction of the speech, tap it forward or back to get new options. All speeches will follow this exact structure. Quick personal intro, speech title, picture, text segue, picture, text segue, picture, thank you. Meanwhile, everyone else reacts to the speech in real time. Points aren't just based on value. How many times you hit the button is just as important. So hit them a lot. <laughs> That's it. It'll be over before you know. Sorry, that finger. <laughs> just that finger. Like, I'm just imagining it. So, one one thing I would recommend is while people are giving their speeches, mute yourself because you tend to laugh a lot. No way. Let's go, boys. So, my name is the Chaotic Cat. And my talk is about how I am an inspiring evil genius. And I tend to use my inheritance on lots and lots of toys. So, here are some of the toys specifically I am talking about. Do you know how to use them? Use this that little pulley thing. Do you know, get that little extra, get that little extra length on the dick. You know, just got that, got the extra little three to four inches in there. This thing, you know, just like corkscrew it a little bit. You know, just like work with it a bit more too. This one, when you just gotta take it off real quick, just take it off. You know, if you want to blame something, however. This is what you need to blame. The money. This is what will cause you to big fuck. This is what makes you want all the toys. This is what makes you a maniac. This is what makes you a horrible sex maniac. I need help. Someone please help me. I don't know what to do anymore. I am suffering. The money is the problem. So, who can we call to fix all of our problems? The two people laying in bed, you and your partner. If you get the partner, you won't move the toys. They will be the toy. You can tie them up, chain them up, use them to your will. You can do whatever you want. You don't need the toys and it's free. You don't have to pay for it. You use them all for free. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Okay. Hey, welcome to I Forgot to Vote Again. <laughs> uh, the roller coaster right there. Nice. Beautiful. I did close my bedroom door for this game. Oh boy. <laughs> there we go. Oh. All right, Sizzle up next, Cat. assisted by Andy Cat. Sizzle, so I'm looking at the title, and I'm the one who this was mine. Hello, my name is Sizzle, and my talk is. Humans can survive on pussy alone. I know you don't believe me, but wait till you see this next slide. See this, see this house? That is you drowning in the pussy. Because <laughs> it is just so good. And it's all you ever need. It's just, it's just like a waterfall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Here's an unpopular opinion. These people right here, they are called the Pussy Crusaders. They do not agree with my mission to help the world with pussy. All things considered, this is what tomorrow could look like for the pussy world. This. Horses have the best pussy. Yummy. We love them. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Oh my god. <laughs> Super engaged. That's a pretty good score. I honestly didn't know how you were gonna take the photo of the white people and the or the white robed people. Because I thought of that, I thought of that completely differently. All right, so now I'm up, and my assistant will be Sizzle. Mm -hmm. Let's go. What is good, all my dudes out there? It's your boy Roxal, and welcome to my talk on. Everyone, panic! We are almost out of fucks to give. You see, look at this dog. Like, most of the time, we would be panicking right now because we give a fuck about this dog. Look, this dog could be dead. This dog could be dead, and we are just sitting here listening to me talk about it? Are you kidding me? We should be helping this dog. Giving it dog CPR where we blow on its nose and make its lips flap around, but instead we're listening to me talk about it. What the fuck, guys? So why am I qualified? to talk about running out of fucks to give. Let me show you my background. I used to give a fuck about other people so hard that I would watch them out of my bedroom window while they were changing their clothes. I had mini binoculars with me all the time just so I could make sure that I got every last little detail just because I gave that much of a fuck. But I'm slowly running out of fucks to give I threw away my binoculars. That is dangerous right there. How can I make this about me more than I already have? Simple. This is what happens when you stop giving a fuck. You will break your foot because you jumped off of a roof instead of just climbing down a ladder or going down the stairs. You will break your feet because you ran out of fucks to give and instead of just accepting the consequences for your actions and you just don't give a fuck and you jump off that roof and this is what could happen to you. Now, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Start giving more fucks because you need to do it. Oh my god, that was terrible. <laughs> the second one, the second picture, I did not mean to do that one. I'm so sorry. It worked, though. But you did well. You did well. <laughs> Thank you. Also, I really liked how you did there, so you will get a green smiley face. Oh, thank you. I give Cat a green smiley face, too. Thanks. Oh, God, no. <laughs> I got you, Cat. My name is Andy Cat, and my talk today is about how my therapist said I should probably stop jacking it to children. There's no other content to that, except there's no possible way for me to do that, and I found a way. So you see, this man was once a child, and he probably was the same way. He's probably a priest of some sort. I have no idea what to do with this. I'd like to direct you to this image of my emotional journey. You see, I was once full and full of life, and then as that went on, I just slowly got more crumbled and crumbled. There was no point for me anymore, so I just started to bend over, and that last photo is a good representation of my back, considering I did jump off a roof to try to take my life. We're gonna use that. <laughs> I seem to be exhibiting a, big, a bit, or a textbook case of <coughs> wanting to shoot myself out of a canyon. Or cannon, <laughs> cannon into a canyon <laughs> because there's just no other way for me to stop you know gotta end it some way thank you i didn't have much to work with it 
didn't get me much to give you. So. Least engaged. Danny. I had. I just had like the worst prompts for that. I didn't have any good prompts like in the very beginning. <laughs> oh god, this will be all interesting. right. All right, let's Man, do this. I gotta trust you. All right. Hello, my name is Danny, and my talk is. I took a personality test and it told me I'm dead inside. So, since I'm dead inside, I just ripped out my heart out of my chest because I, I can't. I listened to the personality test and I'm just gonna throw my heart out because I have no energy for this. I repeat to myself each morning. You're sad. You know you're sad. I'm just. You, you definitely know you're sad. I'm just. No. We're just sad. The answer was in the front of. Well, it was in front of me the whole time. Underwear with croissants in them. That will fix all of my problems. Cause you know, panties and food is just amazing. Yes, let me eat that up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for my pet talk. <laughs> <laughs> I just click one. I just click one button the whole time. Same. Let me Look. eat that up. <laughs> Least engage with sizzle. <laughs> me and Cat were just spamming oh, the Oh man! Yes. Yeah. How did I do? Good job! <laughs> There's only one. <laughs> that was beautiful. I figured might as well end it with a bang. <laughs> I got the least. Name the big award you're going to give out. Do me a favor and give it a funny name. Y'all weren't engaged enough on mine. Yeah, that was that was kind of my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was the sickest high five I've ever seen. Chain them up and do anything. Use your partner. Do it. I was about to be there to them single, but then he said something. Not enough talking about pussy. Pussy talk. Pussy talented into cartwheels. <laughs> I, I feel like you made it less about you and more about me. I have no idea. I still have no fucks to give. Ah, damn it. Then I didn't do it right. I did jump off a roof. Sad talk. Stop jumping off roofs, cat. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Food and pussy. Let me eat it up. So sad. Thanks for choosing my prompts. I'm dead inside. <laughs> and now, the moment of truth. Woo! Each of you has one last big award to give out. And that includes the audience. The award ceremony. The <laughs> award goes to Andy Cat. The shithead award goes to... Chaotic Cat. Yes. The Dodeca Dildo Award goes to Sizzle. Last night. The Pussy Power Award goes to Sizzle. Sizzle. <laughs> and the Best Teammate Award goes to <laughs> me, Rock Salt, for that epic stuff about panties and croissants. Zero one. Yeah. Let's go. Well, whoop, it was my first time playing it. I think we're gonna go.